sit well, I recommend sitting for today's practice. Welcome, welcome. You can start just by rolling the shoulders forward, up, back, and down, just getting a little movement here in the shoulder girdle, in the thoracic spine. You can kind of open up and close it down a little bit. Just get a little bit of movement. Yeah, good. And then let that settle. Gently circle the head and the neck very, very gently. We're not trying to stretch or crack or pop or force in any way, just loosening things up, reverse direction. You can start to notice the flow of air in and out of the nose as you do this. And then come back to center. Take your right hand, find that place between the collarbone and like sort of in the middle of the collarbone, just underneath, there's gonna be a nice soft spot. And I just want you to start to circle that with your fingers, just a gentle pressure, 10 times in one direction. And then 10 times in the other direction. And once you've done 10, you can just give it 10 little taps, nice and gentle. And then we'll do the other side, left hand, just underneath the collarbone. You'll feel in sort of in the middle line along the collarbone, there's this soft, gentle place, tender place. You'll know because it's not your pecs and it's not your collarbone. <laughs> and just 10 swirls in one direction and then the other. I'm sure there is a proper anatomical name for this little tender spot. I'm going to look that up later <laughs> and report back. <laughs> Make sure you go both ways there. And then 10 little knocks or taps. And then just start to take this knocking all the way down the right arm. So these are where the lung meridians are housed. And the marma points for lungs also Really nice marma points for pitta there in the forearm. Go to the top and the back of the arm. So it's, you know, I'm not um, really applying a lot of pressure. I'm just sort of enlivening the cells. And then you can take it around to the left arm with the right knocking fist. I've been doing this more lately before our practice and it just feels really nice. Get the back of the arm too. Let that fall and you'll feel maybe a little river of sensation down, down both arms there. Good. Take the hands to the lower ribs. Let, it, let the hands really frame the ribs, even the thumb reaching back behind. Soften the jaw, separate the teeth, swallow to bring the tongue to the roof of the mouth. And just take a few breaths, engaging the diaphragm in a more lateral direction here. So letting the breath move side to side in the hands. Take your time, let the exhale be easy. Just feeling for that lateral expansion, both in the fingers and in the thumb behind you. Try to pacify the chest and let the neck be real soft. Good, then travel the fingers up to the tops of the ribs here and just let the middle fingers come to touch. Let the elbows relax. Same thing, breathing in this. We want to feel a space between the middle fingers as you breathe in. And as you exhale, they come back together. Two more like that. And the last one. And then let the hands fall in any way that's comfortable. Get a little bit taller through the crown of the head so there's a lot of space for the organs underneath and above the diaphragm. Again, that tongue rests on the roof of the mouth. The ears are over the shoulders, the shoulders are over the hips, and you have a really nice sense of grounding in your seat or in your feet. Start to feel the breath 
in and out of the nose. So just bringing the awareness to the rims of the nostrils. Maybe you can sense which nostril is more dominant this morning. I've been doing a pretty diligent practice of nausea oil and white flower oil. It's really been helping open up the airways. So I'm kind of getting a little minty inhale here. Maybe you can smell something around you in your space. Good. And then the next time you breathe out, hold it empty. And then join me for a breath in for four, three, two, one. Hold it at the top for four, three, two, one. Exhale for four, three, two, one. Hold empty for four, three, two, one. Breathing in for four, three, two, one. Hold it full for four, three, two, one. Exhale for four, three, two, one. Hold it empty for four, three, two, one. Breathing in for four. Holding full for four. Exhale for four. Pause empty for four. Breathing in for four. Imagine it's rising up the front of the body, arcing up the front line. Holding full for four, just let it suspend overhead. Exhale for four, let it roll down your back. Easy. And then holding empty for four, let it settle beneath you. Pausing below. Breathing in, let it arc in front of you. Holding full, let it just suspend above you. Exhale, let it fall behind you. Pause empty below. Inhale, it's like spring rising in front of you. Holding full, it's like summer ripening overhead. Exhale, like fall leaves tumbling down your back. And then pausing empty beneath you like the frozen ground of winter. One more time with that breathing in, spring rises. Holding full, summer ripens. Exhale, fall descends. Hold empty, winter rests. And then let that pattern go and just, again, find that easy nasal breath in and out of the nose. You want to feel that breath really expanding the lowest rim of the ribs all the way around. So even as we get into some uh, sharper techniques and quicker techniques, we want to still feel like we're really engaging the breath from a place of below. I'll go ahead and take a breath in and out of the nose. You can settle the hands at the belly, breathing in just halfway. Let's begin a round of Kapalabhati Pranayama. So exhale, exhale, exhale out of the nose. It's a passive inhale and a purposeful exhale. Kapalabhati is known as the frontal lobe cleansing breath or the skull shining breath. So it should feel that as the belly is pumping in and out to puff that air out of the nose, that tuft of air just before it leaves the nostrils kind of shines the underside of the brain, provides a little bit of clarity, rubbing away any debris, anything that's got stuck on the windshield. So exhale, exhale, exhale. We're going to do 50 more. Find a rhythm that's right for you. It doesn't have to be as fast as I was just cueing that. 
and in, and if you're more practiced with Kapalabhati, know that the the cadence gets slower as you become more advanced. But if it's a newer practice for you, just find the rhythm that feels like you can stick with it for another twenty. Tongue is still on the roof of the mouth. There's not a lot of effort happening in the face at all. It's all from below, out, 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 out. Last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go ahead and exhale the breath out. Hold it empty. Soften the jaw. Separate the teeth. Three sniffs in through the nose, nice and wide. Hold it full. Swallow. Three more sniffs in. Hold it full. Feel like you've really expanded, but you can have just a little bit room for one more sniff in. So full, so full. Under pressure, but feeling like you can self-soothe about it. When you're ready to exhale, imagine it comes out the crown of the head, but it falls from the nose. Keep the length at the sides of the waist when you do it. And then just slip back into a quiet, easy nasal breath. Noticing anything that's being collected in the sieve of thought, feeling, sensation. Breathing gently in and out of the nose. Just follow it in your mind's eye. Don't let your mind leave the trail of breath all the way in and all the way out. Keep an eye on things. Be the guard at the gate. The proprietor of when air is coming in and out. All within your control, all within your self-command. We're going to do another round of Kapalabhati. You can take it with the hands at the navel. You could also bring the arms up if you need a little bit more energy. I like to make cups with my hands. Pinky fingers spin forward. And reach them up so I can see the palms in my periphery. Just gives a little bit more joy to the lungs, I feel. Soften through the jaw. Take a breath <clears throat> in and out of the nose. Breathing in just about halfway. And let's begin again a round of Kapalabhati. Exhale, exhale, exhale through the nose at your rhythm, at your cadence. It can be slower or faster than how I guide it. You're making the practice your own. So feel like the belly is just pumping in and back and that's sending those tufts of air out of the nose, but not before, again, clearing out some debris, taking out the trash. This breath is also not just good for the mental clarity, but the physical clarity in the lungs. You can imagine anything that's caught in the mucus, anything that's just stagnating in the lungs, you're puffing it out, you're taking out the trash, clearing the pathways. <laughs> Go for 30 more here. Face is soft, not compressed in any way. Last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. If the hands are up, take the thumbs together, reach the arms straight up. Exhale all the breath out through the nose. Spin the armpits in, soften the sides of the neck. Take three sniffs in through the nose. Hold it full, soften around the fullness. Maybe swallow if that helps you. Kind of pack it down. Three more sniffs in. Hold it full, gentle through the jaw and face. One more sniff and just top it off. So full, so full of life, so full, full, full. Self-soothe around any pressure it brings. And then when you're ready, it's an exhale out the nose, but like it comes out the crown of the head, the arms rain around you and you keep a sense of spaciousness in the lungs. And then the palms can just face up on the lap. Take a few moments again to just collect something through that sieve of experience. Like some things will be kept, some things will just run right through and that's fine. And just again, noticing taking this moment to be the real uh, detective of the breath. 
What can you detect as you really follow the journey of air in and out of the body? Can you envision the breath going down into the lungs, perfusing in the alveoli, sending oxygen to all the tissues and cells, and then coming back out through that expiration? When I was in school, we used to watch a series called The Magic School Bus, and that's kind of what I imagine here, being able to become so tiny and travel around my inner landscape, and what a beautiful, fun journey that would be. All right, as we're settling here, start to again feel that breath, really broadening the lowest ribs as you inhale. And then also there will be a sense of filling up at the top too, but it's not a vertical movement of the shoulders. It's just, again, this breadth with a, with a D, breadth, wideness, spaciousness, sphericality. And start to fall into a bit of a rhythm here. So don't pause the breath at the bottom or the top. So instead of that box breathing we were doing earlier, make it more of a sphere, more of a circle. So there's no beginning and end to the inhale, to the exhale, fully in, and we let it go. So it just becomes a wave washing over the lungs, in and out. It doesn't have to be super fast. It can be fast. It doesn't have to be um, noisy or really voluminous where you feel like you're getting every amount of space you possibly can. It can be a bit more subtle. So you can really choose how the breath is affecting your energy state by how you're breathing. The greater, quicker the cadence, it's gonna be a bit more energizing. And that could be a good thing for right in the morning. If you're doing this before bed, maybe you slow it down. And then the volume, bringing more and more air in at a quicker rate, again, it's gonna have that energizing effect. So maybe that's right for you right now. And maybe it's not. So temper the volume with the cadence and find a recipe that just feels like it can flow in and out of the nose. So there's no effort on the exhale and the inhale feels like you're getting exactly what you need. And for all of us, it's going to feel different depending on when we do the breath work. We're going to work our way toward a few breath holds. Now, if your goal would be to hold the breath longer, well, then it would help you to expel more carbon dioxide. It would help you to breathe a bit more volume out and a bit more quickly. If your goal is just to enjoy the experience of breathing and you don't really care about the breath holding, then again, pick that rhythm that just feels really delicious and comfortable and really like you're nourishing yourself with all of that fresh life force, prana, air, oxygen, Chi, there are so many words for the sensation of being alive through the breath. So we're going to do about 20 more breaths here. If you, again, are feeling like you need to just express yourself a bit or have a little bit of a bigger breath, feel free to take the exhales out of the mouth. We want to be breathing in through the nose in this um, class, but Exhaling through the mouth, letting out a few sighs, totally fine. Like if you haven't spoken today or if you feel like you've been restricted in any way, sometimes oh, just letting that out can feel really, really cathartic, <laughs> really, really expressive. So don't worry about the practice being so precious. It's not meant to sit on a shelf. It's meant to be lived. It's meant to be experienced. It's meant to be adapted to the moment. So just following this rhythm, let it find you. But also know that you are in complete control of your breathing. And if anything ever becomes too much, you can slow it down. If something's not enough, you can speed it up. So put yourself in that driver's seat. Do another eight breaths or so here together. Go for the sensation of low in the body. So no matter how fast or slow you're going, really feel like it's not just a breath here up in the chest. Okay. Especially if you're breathing a little bit more quickly, we want to feel that depth of expression of breath. Three more here. The last 
last one all together. And then one more inhale, holding it full at the top for a count of five, four, three, two, one. Let it just fall from the nose, no squeeze, holding the breath empty. So returning to that wintry pause beneath you, letting something just settle below. Letting the presence of gravity be felt in the groundedness of the body, but then also a sense that the spaciousness provides a buoyancy against it. And from those two forces, you're able to find a sensation of something deeper within you. And as you pause here, the air hunger may start to build. Greet the sensation. Your body has a huge reservoir of oxygen, a huge reservoir of red blood cells. You're not going to run out. So just feel what that feels like to be a little hungry for air and know that that's a buildup of CO2 in the blood and in the lungs. And if you need to breathe in before I cue us to do so, please breathe in. Please be comfortable. Take care of yourself. But know that that sensation of air hunger is totally normal. And in fact, what we're trying to improve our tolerance to. Now hold for 10 more seconds. Soften around it. Even if you feel that creeping sensation to swallow or a spasm of the diaphragm, all very normal. Even if you can go for longer, let's all take a full breath in and down and wide. Holding it full for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Letting it go. And going right back into that circular breath. We're going to do another two rounds of this. Breathing for about a minute in this circular way. And then finding a pause of the breath before we slow it down again. So fully in. Let it go. No pause. No hesitation. You are in control. You're in the driver's seat. This uh, round, the rhythm might be a little different. And that's totally okay. Just notice for any feeling of forcing and try to let that dissipate into just a feeling of flowing around it. So I don't mean that in necessarily an esoteric way, but we want the breath to feel like it's doing what it's supposed to do. Like your body wants to breathe. The universe wants you to breathe. It shouldn't have to be an uphill battle for you to find a cadence that's right for you. So even if it's slow and low, that's fine. If it's fast, if it's quippy, if it's more energizing, has a little bit of a sharper quality, that's fine. But we don't want to have any kind of forceful against the grain feeling. Like Go downstream with the river. It's much easier than swimming up against it. So whatever that feels like for you and your body, got another 30 seconds or so. In and out of the nose. In and out of the nose. But again, if you feel like you need to make a little noise, that's fine. If you need to stretch or yawn or laugh or cry or anything that comes up, just greet it. Instead of shoving any sensations away, see what it's like to welcome, welcome them like a friend. Invite them in. That You have the choice if they stay or not. Take another three breaths here on our own. Let that exhale just be easy. Just falling from the nose. Last one. And all together, full breath in. Holding it at the top for five, four, three. Two, one, letting it go. Just let it fall from the nose. No squeeze. Holding empty. It helps some people to swallow. So if that helps you, you can do that. Otherwise, just let the breath suspend. 
just a little pause here. Bringing more spaciousness to the day by finding this pause between breaths. The Buteco breathing method calls the pause after the exhale the creative pause. And I love that. I think that is such a powerful bit of language. Like in this space, in this pause, what do we have the ability to forge, create, bring anew? Thoughts, feelings, sensations, all gesturing us towards becoming the best version of ourselves. Patient, responsible, calm, in control. We're going to keep pausing for another 15 seconds here. If you need to breathe in before I cue it, totally fine. Just have a little pause at the top of that inhale and we'll rejoin you in that circular breath. When you're ready, full breath in. Holding it full at the top for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Letting it go. Last round here of that nice circular flowing breath in and out. If you need to shift your position or move your body a little bit or stretch or do anything, don't deny yourself. Don't let it become stagnant. Keep it fresh. Keep it interesting. Keep it going. No hesitation. You know exactly what you're doing. This is an experience you are fully participating in. In and out. Steady rhythm, steady flow, fast or slow, that's up to you. If you want a little bit more energy, if you want to hold the breath a little bit longer, try on a little bit of a faster pace. If you want to ground, if you want to soothe, if you just want to really find a sense of calm, down regulation, a slower breath might be for you this morning. Faster, more voluminous breathing will increase energy, but it will also increase focus. So it's a nice thing to sort of sharpen the quality of the mind as well as the physical sensation of the body. So you choose your rhythm. Another 20 seconds here. In and out. Filling even the back ribs. All the way around. Unclench the jaw, face is soft, belly soft, throat, chest soft. That's it. Last three here on your own. All together, let's take that full breath in. Holding full at the top for five. Four, three, two, one, letting it go. Exhale, just easy amount, holding empty. Holding empty. Letting the awareness seep in the interior direction. Letting it wash over the terra incognita, the unexplored territory of the body this morning. quality of depth, profoundness, awareness, just seeping into the bones and even deeper still. If you need to breathe in, please do so. That's totally fine. This is a practice, not a perfect. Another 10 seconds. Soften around it. If you're ready with me, breathing in, holding full for a count of 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 
five, four, three, two, one. Let it go. Let that go. Exhale everything out. Take a breath in with me for five, four, three, two, one, and out for five, four, three, two, one. In for five, four, three, two, one. Out for five, four, three, two, one. In for five, four, three, two, one. Out for five, four, three, two, one. In for five, four, three, two, one. One out for five, four, three, two, one in for five, four, three, two, one out for five, four, three, two, one in for five. Out for five. In for five, arcing up the front body. Out for five, falling behind you. One more, in for five. Lifting the chest, bringing you out. And exhale, just let it fall down your back, let it go. Just observe the breath. Let observation be action. When you're ready, swish the tongue around the teeth. Swallow. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Maybe stretch overhead. Any little movements just to bring you back into your day. Transitioning. <laughs> Namaste. Thank you all so much for practicing with me. Love seeing you all. I hope you have a great rest of your day.